Did you give Har Arnold Schwarzenegger his tr truck back already? Yeah, oh yeah, he's got it. He's running on bio, so he's, oh. he's happy. Okay, so it's not here. Well, actually, we're talking about doing his. He has a, the very first H1 Hummer that was a slant back given to him, and we're talking about doing the bio hydrogen conversion on it. So it'll be pretty neat. And we I still offer the. This is the Duramax conversion. Um, it's a, you know, it's a green project. You know, what we do is we take the old 6.5 out that was getting 10 miles to gallon at 250 horsepower, and we replace it with the motor. That's, we do 600 horse at 25 miles to gallon. So, and you're capable of running biodiesel or diesel fuel. Actually, this vehicle will be a bio hydrogen. Or actually, this is going bio ethanol. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does ethanol do to diesel? Here's what I know about diesel. Diesel expands once it's ignited by the hot air. You inject diesel into it with a diesel injector, and it ignites, but at a slow rate. And because it's slow, it can't really be at a high RPM. You can never really run diesel at a high RPM because of that slow expansion rate. Is that right? Yeah, you know, it's a compression ignition style motor, so uh, the fuel source really doesn't dictate why that it does what you're saying. Oh. Uh, really, it's, it's the way that the fuel management system is designed and developed. Like, for example, this engine over here that we're going to be running on diesel fuel, uh, that same system, which is sim simply an injector that's ECU controlled by a standalone ECU, on this engine here will increase the fuel economy by 30%. You know, so it's it's a better system. It's a more efficient system. You're, increase, Just like a, you're increasing fuel economy. How? By making the explosion happen faster? No, we're almost vaporizing the fuel source. You know, got, think of it like this. What mixes better with air? Gas. Okay. You know, or vapors. Vapor mixes a lot yes. better with air than a liquid. You know, right. Liquid, to me, liquid in an IC or any internal engine is like oil and water. I mean, they really don't mix. Oil doesn't vaporize, as far as I've ever known. Well, at 160,000 VFI or psi, what happens is it just it is it is broken down into a, to, to molecules that are almost like vapor. Okay. You know, so now you get a more efficient burn, and okay. that's the key. I okay. mean, all that that's going out the pipe doesn't do you any good at powering your vehicle. Is that's that why hydrogen and natural gas or any of those any gas you take Brown's gas yeah. or any kind of gas. You're going to get some kind of gain off of it because the engine is going to is going to to run way more efficiently. It'll explode faster in the combustion chamber, push the piston down quicker. Is well, there won't be any. There's there's no waste, and it has the perfect makeup. I mean, it's like making a pie or a cake. You know, if you take all the ingredients and mix them together and make you know try to make something out of it, uh, it's not as good as if each individual component or you know you mix the eggs with the butter and stuff like that. You know, the the process to get the outcome. So that's the key is is getting an efficient burn, so there's no waste there. Okay. You okay. Know? Um, There's that much waste in in diesel engines right now and gasoline engines right well, now. Well, yeah. What's the efficiency on a on a diesel engine? 40, 50 percent. Well, I thought that was because a lot of it is going away as heat, but you're saying it's because a lot of it's unspent going out the exhaust pipes. Yeah. Okay. It's not used right. It's not mixed right. You don't need you don't need that that amount of fuel with air to be able to produce the same you know uh, type of uh, power to do it or VTs. You know, like when we do ethanol. Uh, on the diesel engine, we don't, we're not running it through the fuel system. We're actually fumigating it in pre-intake, oh, so it's mixing okay. with the air. And oh. what happens? The engine instantly picks up on this, and it's like, hey, what, you know, what's this extra horsepower? So it starts automatically detuning itself, taking away its fuel source or its main fuel source, which is diesel or biodiesel, for the new incoming fuel source. You know, it makes that determination on itself. And that's what itself. makes it so efficient, because you got that ECU unit saying, oh, there's already fuel in this air, so it's sending in less diesel fuel itself. Exactly. It's, it's you know, self-governed. So. But if you give it gas, if you get lay on the gas, mm -hmm. it will, the ECU will say, oh, we got to give it diesel too? Is that is that where you get the power? Like no, you? not necessarily. I mean, okay. as far as the management system, you know, we'll go in there and do, just do like a preliminary mapping in our standalone ECU, but really the engine takes and makes its own decision. You know, there'll be times at what we call peak efficiency, you know, maybe, for example, maybe this vehicle weighing 8,000 pounds at 60 miles an hour, its peak efficiency, uh, you know, is around 2,000 RPM, okay? Under that, we might be getting a 80 to 90% displacement with our ethanol, but on sudden hard acceleration, you know, we might not have enough there for what's being consumed, mm -hmm. so then the engine 
feeds in more diesel. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah. over the board, you know, you're at 30 percent. Or like some of the builds I did, like the one that was on CNN with the Escalade. You know, that was an 850 horse biodiesel, but we turned around and used ethanol for a 30% increase in horsepower. Of course, with scattered rear ends everywhere, you know, <laughs> with doing that, but, uh, you know, it was fun. Do you have any plans or hopes for big trucks? Absolutely. Everything that we're doing is geared towards, uh, you know, uh, uh, production at this point in time. You know, in, in the past, uh, uh, windfall has never been something I've turned into a product, but... Uh, uh, there's a need for it right now, so we're doing everything from an average consumer uh, that wants a $400 download to increase the fuel economy for the diesel engine all the way up into mass transportation. Okay. So right. a lot of stuff, will, for quarter of eight, we'll have a, a lot of technology out in the market. All right, man. So. I really appreciate yeah, no your time. This is huge. And you're just down the street from me. And if you don't mind, if I keep tracking you down in the newspaper and I see that you're still doing new stuff, you mind if I come in and snoop around? Okay. Thanks a whole lot, man.